So he is saying, Ho Agastya, there are no any other mantras that are equivalent or equivalent in potency of uh, Sri Vidya, Sri Mantaraja. And there is no goddess, Devata Lalita Tulya. Tulya means to um, balance, like something that matches Lalita's power. See, learning is one thing. You know, just like uh, if you go to any school or college, you have, may, let's say they have may, maybe 100 students, right? The one who really studies, make that and really attain a success in life are very few. Even though I have 100 people, they all graduate. And there's only few, they really, they really want to understand the subject. They want, they love the subject. There's mathematics or anything. They have some, one thing that they like and they really enjoy it. You can count maybe half of them at max. So all of them, they really excel and they get success in life eventually. Same thing here too, Sri Vidya, it doesn't mean just because you got Mantra Diksha that you are, uh, you are entitled for the best of the best or for a realization that is being promised in the first Stuti. It depends upon how, how strong your faith is and how far you want to take that down the rabbit hole, how far you can go with one point focus. That is the differing factor between in the real Srividya Upaska and just like a window shopping kind of person who just want to part of the bandwagon. And that's the reason they say that Srividya is the, the typically those who get real interest in Sri Vidya, that tends to be their last life before 1980s or 1990, before the computer, the internet age came in. Before that time, someone even to come to this point of chanting Laita Sasnamam or learning Falasthuti, all of this is a big deal. Because, you know, then first of all, you don't have access to the scriptures. And then even if you have access to the mantras, you need to have proper guru who can give you the guidance on how to use them. And even after you get it, then you still have to be able to do all the other prerequisites like Gayatri and Sanya Madhanam. You should know how to chant Sri Suptam and all the Vedic Suptams that are mentioned in the... So all of these, then you get to really absorb the entirety of Sri Vidya's, you know, the body of knowledge. <clears throat> so those all are being now basically being kind of become abstracted. And by because of the, the visibility of Sri Vidya across the internet, a lot of schools are propping up and giving mantra for money. They don't understand the basics. They start away, they think just mantra, Vidya is only just getting mantra. But mantra is just like, let's say if someone, uh, let's say they have a, they want to study in Harvard, say IM or IIT in India. Let's say for somehow, you know, somehow because of the recommendation of Biden, we got, a, got admission into Colombia. Maybe recommendation of some chief minister in India you got some you know, admission into IM or IIT. The chances are very highly that you, you won't succeed. Because you can't fake intelligence to sustain, survive in the class. Same thing is happening here too. Because just because you have mantras and you get the access to mantras and you don't do the, all the prerequisite sadhana, you are as good as not having any Sri Vidya Upasana. That's the reason, you know, I'm focusing very much on the ground basics so that you all get to absorb and look at how much we are covering. Just through the Laita Sahasnam, there's a lot of the concepts of Sanatana Dharma. There's a lot more. But for that, in order to understand and to implement, you need a discipline. And that is what you get through the Nitya Sadhana. Not just like you get a mantra, you get some Mahagrambati mantra and just two, six months and you're done. Okay, I did my Mahagrambati Purascharana. So I am, you know, I am a Sri Vidya Upasaka. It's not like that. It's a, it's a lifestyle. That's what they call Sri Vidya is a lifestyle. Just not a crash course. Back to the point is that uh, the, there is nothing higher or equivalent to Sri Vidya. And also there is no other goddess that is also equivalent in potency to Lalita. Because she embodies all of the deities together.